So you want to get into hacking, right? A lot of people do. But there's this huge unspoken rule that almost everyone misses at first. In this explainer, we're going to pull back the curtain on that rule and break down the one skill you absolutely need to get started in cybersecurity, all based on the wisdom of the expert known as Occupy the Web. And this is really the heart of it, isn't it? We're not talking about Hollywood stereotypes here. As Occupy the Web points out, hacking is a major player in, well, everything, from geopolitics to corporate espionage. To really understand our world today, you have to understand this. And boom, there it is, the core truth. You just can't separate hacking from Linux. This isn't a preference, it's not an opinion, it's just the fundamental reality of how this world works. Linux is the starting line, non-negotiable. So here's our game plan. First, we'll dig into the why, that big prerequisite. Then we'll cover why Linux is so critical, map out some core concepts you need to know, get you started with your very first commands, and finally show you how to get help when you need it. You know, it's so tempting to just dive into the deep end, right? But what the experts see all the time is people trying to run before they can even crawl. The unspoken rule is dead simple. You have to master the fundamentals first. And in the world of hacking, the absolute foundation of everything is Linux. Okay, so what is the big deal with Linux anyway? Why this one operating system? What makes it so special that the entire cybersecurity community has built its home there? Well, the answer is in its DNA. It really all boils down to a totally different philosophy. Think about Windows or Mac OS. They're like a black box, right? They're closed source. You can't really peek under the hood and see what's going on. Linux, it is the exact opposite. It's completely open, totally transparent, and it's designed to give you total fine-grained control over every little piece of the system. For a hacker, that's not just a feature, that's everything. And that open philosophy has this massive domino effect. It's estimated that a staggering 95% of all hacking tools are built for Linux on Linux. The takeaway couldn't be clearer. If you want to use the best and biggest toolkit, you have to be on its home turf. All right, let's start mapping out this new world. If you're coming over from Windows or Mac OS, some of the language is going to be a little different, but trust me, these concepts are really simple once you know the translation. Okay, first up, the word binary. You're going to hear this one a lot. Don't let it throw you. All it is is the Linux version of an executable, you know, an XEX file on Windows. If you can run it, it's a binary. Simple as that. Now this next one, oh man, this is the classic rookie mistake. In the world of Linux, case matters a lot. Unlike Windows, a folder named desktop with a capital D is a completely different thing from desktop with a lowercase d. Getting this one detail right will save you so much headache. And here's an easy one for you. What you've always called a folder in Linux, it's a directory. That's it. Same exact thing, just a different word. The file system itself is also set up a bit differently. You can forget about C drives and D drives. In Linux, everything, and I mean everything, starts from a single spot called root, which is just that forward slash. From there, it all branches out like a tree. You've got slash home for user stuff, slash bin for all your commands. It all just makes sense. Okay, theory is cool, but let's get our hands on the actual tools. You only need a few basic commands to really start moving around and exploring this entire system right from the command line. The very first command you should know is probably PWD. Think of it as the you are here dot on a mall map. If you ever feel lost, just type PWD, hit enter, and it tells you your exact location in the file system. Super simple, super useful. Okay, so you know where you are, now what? You gotta look around, right? That's what LS is for. It just lists everything in your current directory, all the files, all the other directories. It's how you see what your options are. So you've found your spot, you've seen what's there. How do you actually go somewhere? For that, you use CD, which stands for change directory. This is your main way of getting around. You just type CD and then the name of the place you wanna go. This next one, who am I, might sound a little philosophical, but it's incredibly important. It literally asks the system, who am I right now? And the answer is critical 
because it tells you what your permission level is. Many of the most powerful tools require you to be the super user or root, and this is how you check. All right, so you've got the basic moves down, but what happens when you're stuck or you need to find a specific tool and have no idea where it is? Or maybe you just forgot how a command works. The great news is Linux has an amazing help system built right in. For a quick and dirty summary, just type any command and add dash help at the end. But for the full deep dive, you use man, which is short for manual. Man plus the command name will pull up its entire instruction book. And what about finding stuff? Well, you've got a couple of awesome search tools. If you're looking for any file with a certain keyword in its name, locate is your best friend. But if you know the name of a command and just need to find where its actual file is, where is is the tool for that job. Okay, now we're getting to something really powerful. You see, sometimes a command will just dump a mountain of information on you. Take PS aux, for example. It's supposed to show you every single process running on your system. But what you actually get is this giant, unreadable wall of text. It's all noise, no signal. But check this out. This is where the magic happens. See that little vertical line? It's called a pipe. It lets you take the output of one command and feed it directly into another one. So we can pipe that messy wall of text into grep, which is a tool that just filters for a specific word. And just like that, all the noise vanishes and you're left with the exact answer you were looking for. This is the core idea, small tools working together. So there you have it. You've got the map to this new world, you've got a compass to find your way, and you've got your first set of tools in your belt. The foundation is officially laid. So the only question left is, where are you gonna explore first?